welcome to Sterling Self-Defense with Badger of Badger Less Lethal, sponsored by Badger Less Lethal. Now, Badger Less Lethal projects. One, you just got to have tactical. Doesn't matter if it'll actually stop an attacker or not. Just have to have it look cool. Whether it be the burner. Looks good. Very comfortable. Easy to carry. All different colors. Or, super cool, the T4E 43 cal. Badger. Look at that. Real blowback action. Won't stop anyone. Badger, really? Could you look at the camera? Sorry, guys. Very unprofessional of him. Yes. Will not stop anyone. But does it look cool? Absolutely does. A lot of cool options with them. Oh, mag fell out. Quick pierce mags. Super cool. Only seven jewels, but hey, it's all about how it looks cool. If your attacker gets you, yeah, it's not going to stop him. But the last laugh will be yours. Because when he steals your wallet, you realize you got no cash left. And all your credit cards are maxed out because you went tactical. Or maybe you need an FSC with six four grips, two carry handles, stock springs, no power. Badger's got your back. Or for that extra little perk, sear coating. Professional sear coating. Right, Badger? Badger studied for a whole year sear coating just so he can bring you the tack to cool. It was only a dog year, but still a year nonetheless. So Badger less lethal with tack to cool when it absolutely doesn't matter if it takes your opponent down. Go with a burner or a T4E. Or what other else looks cool. Right, Badger? All right. All right. Now, today, some guys uh, are, have been asking about how to get their tanks up a little higher than 1,000. So our regular kit, shim kit, brings you up to 1,000 PSI. It can be brought up higher. I recommend 1,000, depending on which guns you're using. Some are okay at 1,100. And uh, FSC, you can bring up to, I prefer 1,000. 1,000 works good. I get good numbers. I ain't got to worry about breaking anything. But if you do want to go higher, I will show you how. All right. First, your 316s. Bing, bing, bing. Already took that off. Make the top of your tank out. Try not to lose the little spring. They're hard to get. Take that. Put it aside. Right. Now this one is stock. Got your little blue spring. Now take that blue spring, throw in the garbage. You won't be using that anymore. Now, a regular kit comes with your new spring and three shims. Now the three shims are a uh, five thousandths of an inch, a ten thou, and a fifteen thou. That'll give you right on the button 1,000 PSI. Now, you want to get to 1,100 or more, you got to add more shims. So, in this case, you want another uh, 10,000. So, you got a 5, a 10, a 15, which brings you up to uh, 30,000. Add another 10,000, that'll bring you to 40. And that'll give you 1,100 PSI. So, you got to do that. Here's the three springs, uh, three shims. Put your first three on there. Slide them right on there. And let me just check and measure them. I recommend everyone get one of these two. Calipers are good to have. Don't get a plastic pair. Get a metal one. Spend a little extra money. It's worth it. The plastic are garbage. They're not going to feed anything. They're not going to give you any true measurements. There's your 10th thou. 15 is already on there. Let me check my next one. Yeah, my glass is on because I can't see. All right, there's my 5,000. All right, so we're up to 30 thousandths of an inch. Uh, I'll put some uh, single shims up on the, the site. This way you can get what you need. And here's our 10 thousandths of an inch. 
So we're at 40 thou. Now, so what's really important with these first strike and pepper oil tanks, you can't go over 50 thousandths of an inch. Right now we're at 40. If you want to add any more, you still got to stand under 50 thou. Otherwise, you're running into what's called tank surge. That's when your uh, output pressure will jump up and down like 1,800, 15, 13. You don't want that. That's a bad thing. That's when you're going to break some things. So, all right. So, now you want to take a little, uh, let me just find my ultra silk. I'll put a little grease right on the end of the nipple. A little, little rubber nipple thing. I forget what it's called, but it's right on the end. Put that on there, get a little ultra silk on your spring there. And there's a little o-ring, I'm trying to get dirt all over here. A little o-ring there too, you wanna to get some lubrication on. Stick your spring on there. And back in your tank. Everything back up. Tighten it up with your three sixteenths. All right, there you go. Eleven hundred psi. Just got to charge it up. Now, if you're trying to get more, higher than 1,100 PSI, that's when, now, stick with the fives because you're already up to 40, uh, 40 thou now, and then go to fives next. So you don't want to go over 50 thou. And then, you know, but first check it, pump it up, see what you got at the 40 thou. If you want to get a little more, take it back apart, grab yourself a five thou. I recommend getting calipers, always check them. You never know. You can get a little watcher or something mixed up. Like I did almost over here, a washer to a regulator. If I would have grabbed that by mistake and threw it on there, what is it? It is 30 thou. And it looks just like a shim. But if I would have thrown that in there, I would have been way over. And would have had tank surge. So good thing to have a pair of calipers. You don't have to get crazy, you know, super expensive ones, a good metal one. About 30 bucks, you know. Uh, Harbor Freight, I, I think, has some good ones. But just make sure they're metal. You don't need a vernier, you know, crazy bore sizing, three-point, you know, thing. You don't have to spend crazy money. But it's always good to have one of these because with these markers, there's a lot of things you've got to measure. So it's always good to know what your measurements are. And every time you measure something, when you're going to measure it, make sure you zero it out. A little button here, you know, we go down, drop it to zero, hit zero. That zeroes it out. Make sure it's tight together and you're ready to measure. All right, that's about it for Tech Talk today. Uh, so that'll get you your tank pressure higher. I'll, I'll throw some little shims up on the website. But uh, really, all you need is the three shims for 1,000 PSI. If you want to go to 1,100, you need an extra 5,000 shim. Or a couple of five thousand, just in case. Mm, don't, but got to measure. Make sure you don't get over fifty thousand. All right, guys. I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.